meteorologist Chris Booth, sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. Well, we saw the cloudier conditions earlier in the day. We even saw some showers, especially in our southern counties. But now that we've gotten past sunset, it's starting to see them fizzle out. We did have this one cell just to the south of Brady. We're kind of keeping an eye on over the past couple of hours. That has since faded out. And we're looking at a pretty quiet evening for much of Texas. But the bigger story in the weather world has been off towards our east. Hurricane Ida making landfall in Louisiana earlier today at 11.55 a.m. along the coast of Louisiana. And again, starting to see the move in and it's really feeling the impacts. We got plenty of uh, tornado warnings that have been issued over the past couple of hours, especially tons of watches still out in effect. Again, as this storm kind of made landfall, power outages throughout all of New Orleans, the city of New Orleans is at, without power. And in fact, the storm surge was so strong from this hurricane, as it made landfall, it actually reversed the flow of the Mississippi River. So again, just showing you how much force was associated with this strong storm as it made landfall. Again, right now it has weakened just a little bit. It is category two hurricane right now still expected to continue to weaken as it moves up in towards the uh, northern areas up towards Mississippi and then finally moving off towards the northeast so again still packing quite a punch a category 2 hurricane at this time again that will continue to weaken as we go through the overnight hours and into tomorrow still getting lots of video and footage from that hurricane you can always find that information on our website at Concho Valley homepage Com. Right now, pretty quiet for us here in the Concho Valley here in San Angelo as well. Temperatures in the mid-70s, 76. Dew points a little bit on the humid side. Dew points at 72. And then southerly wind at 3 miles per hour. And again, the past 24 hours, things kept us a bit cooler because of that cloud coverage. And then early afternoon, we saw those showers come through. Helped to keep us a bit cooler as well. Kind of prevented us from getting up into the 90s. We tried to recover, get back up into the 80s. But again, just didn't have enough time to heat things back up. And it, those showers did provide us a pretty nice sunset. Again, Dennis King sent us in this photo. Again, that cloud adding the cover colors out there as the sunset kind of dipped in and out of those mid clouds. Temperatures across the area, mid 70s for much of the area will cool down pretty nicely, getting into the lower 70s and upper 60s, clearing. I think most of us are done with the rain chances, but again, we'll see those. 20% spotty rain chances forming tomorrow afternoon. Some of them could actually have a rumble of thunder with them again. So some thunderstorms possible as we go into our future cast. We'll take a look again. The isolated thunderstorms and showers possible during the afternoon time frame. Very similar to what we saw. They'll start to develop by the lunchtime hour. As we get into evening, they'll start to fizzle out. And things should be pretty quiet for us on Tuesday. But then we get a shortwave trough push through. It's going to get a slight chance for some rain chances on Wednesday afternoon as well. It's mostly going to stay in our southeastern counties. So places like Mason and Junction could get in on some action on Wednesday afternoon. Otherwise, we're going to be looking at a pretty quiet pattern going to wrap up the week. So again, those rain chances, 20% for us on Monday, then 20% or 10% rather on Wednesday. Again, that's going to stay mostly for our southeastern counties. And then we'll look at those temperatures kind of staying pretty close to normal. Again, low 90s, mid 90s going into next weekend with overnight lows in the upper 60s and lower 70s. And for tonight's KLST weather trivia question, we kind of gave a little bit of a spoiler or eliminated one of the answers. Which of the following hurricanes made landfall as a Category 5 hurricane? That would be the answer of B, Hurricane Andrew made landfall back in 1992.